Well, it's hard to believe that this uh, time has come that uh, George Purefoy is, uh, is going to retire. Uh, the only city manager the city of Frisco has had in 35 years, and we all knew this would come about someday, but I didn't know it was going to be this soon, and uh, pleased to be able to say a couple of words. Well, George Purefoy, it's tough to get an assessment in just a quick video. Um, 34 years of building Frisco from 6,000 people to now 220,000 people um, is rare. It's rare that you see a city manager stay for 34 years in a community like this because, you know, typically a city manager of 6,000 people is not the same city manager for 50 or 100 or even 200. But to George's credit, he's continued to evolve as a city manager, um, you know, as a community's grown um, and, you know, belongs on the Mount Rushmore of city managers, you know, across the country. And I think his colleagues would um, certainly give him that due um, recognition. It was an honor to know George. Uh, not only do I consider him a friend, but George uh, taught me so many things throughout my tenure as an elected official, but even before that, uh, you learn really quickly that, that George believed Frisco was a family member. And as, as long as you remembered that, you were okay. Uh, if you tried to hurt the city in any way, you would really see uh, the mild-mannered George, as we call him, really come out and, and do everything he could to protect the community in the city. You know, my favorite thing about George is, you know, I think all of us in leadership positions, you know, we look to people that we want to emulate as leaders. <clears throat> and I think, you know, former mayors, former city councils, anyone that's had the privilege of working with George, look at George as someone you want to emulate. He's a role model for all the community leaders here in Frisco, that he listens first, you know, and he'll hear our discussions, and then when he finally sits up and you know he's about to speak, everyone gets quiet. We're like, I hope I got it right. You know, I hope I pleased George. Um, and when he was ready to speak, everyone listened, you know, and everyone valued his opinion. I have a note that I value that George gave me after we dedicated the City Hall and the Library in his name. And George mentioned that in 1987, they struggled about where to go and what to do, and they wanted to come back to Dallas. And they finally, he honed in on Frisco and he told Deborah, I think this is gonna be a great place to go because it looks like it's positioned for growth with all the land that they've annexed. So George promised Crystal, their daughter, that if I take this job, I will guarantee that we'll be there as long as the mayor and council let me do my job until you graduate. Well, they've been here a lot longer than that and Crystal graduated. They have a family, George is a grandfather, and we're just happy that he has taken the opportunity to give us the opportunity to be here as our city manager for the past 35 years. Now, I could sit here and talk for hours about George. I, there's so many stories to tell. But the reality is we need to wake up every day being thankful that we had him at the helm of Frisco for so long. I'm personally a better person uh, for knowing George. Uh, I can honestly say I've grown tremendously learning from him, not just statistical and government information, but how to live life and how to treat others and how to, to have strong faith. Um, you know, I'm not sure he really knew how many people closely watched him to try to learn all the good things he, he is as a man. He's a good father, a good husband, and just a good man. Uh, it's been an honor to really be alongside George for this ride. City of Frisco is what it is because of George Purefoy, and I've just been Honored to be able to serve alongside him now for almost 15 years for me to be able to watch him um, It's impacted me deeply as far as how it's you know made me a leader someone I want to try to aspire to be more like um, And so you know George Purefoy has um, he's changed my life um, and he's um, you know certainly changed the life of my family because you know we decided to move our family here and raise our kids here um, because of the vision and direction that he set for Frisco. Uh, George, you've done a great job and uh, you've put together a very fine team down at City Hall. We want to thank you for all you've done and wish the best for you in your retirement.